Okay, in New York City, New York, emails reveal Mayor Bill de Blasio ab abused his power to help stall a probe into yeshiva schools. Mayor Bill, de <laughs> Mayor Bill de Blasio was personally involved in a deal with Orthodox Jewish leaders to delay a long-awaited report on poor yeshiva education. The Department of Education launched an investigation of the yeshivas, but as it was dragged on, critics suspected that City Hall was delaying the probe to curry favor with the Orthodox Jewish voting bloc. Quote, these internal communications reveal what we suspected all along. Mayor de Blasio uh, abused his power by interfering with the yeshiva investigation, says Naftuli Moster, who is the founder and executive director of Young Advocates for Fair Education, which is dedicated to providing adequate secular education for children in the Hasidic community. This is like religious privilege. They're getting away with doing shady stuff and gov the government, the mayor is trying to help them get away with it? Is that the case? Okay. Rivka, do you, can you enlighten us? Well, remember last week we were talking about part of the issue with some of the Hasidic communities is they have a lot of political influence. We, we right. brought that up. Well, this is a perfect example of that political influence. So... This thing with the yeshivas has been going on for several years now. New York state law, you have to have a minimum requirement of so many hours of secular education. And these yeshivas are not doing that. And they mm. haven't been doing that. And even so far as, you know, um, there's an organization called Yafed um, Yeshiva um, Education. Uh, I can't remember what it's what the um, acronym stands for, but they have been campaigning for um, this secular education for them to uphold New York State to uphold the law, New York City to uphold the law. And so this is exactly what's going on here is this political influence that a lot of these people in this community have is being wielded against de Blasio. And you can see it clearly in these emails because he's asking, well, what do they want? What they want is to delay the decision on the yeshivas. And then later on they say, well, you know, we're not going to really come out against anything, any progress they make. We're going to consider good progress, but you know, they're not doing anything. You know, there's a story from, um, I think last year where a uh, parent of one of the yeshivas in upstate New York is he's in fifth grade. He doesn't know how to speak English. He can barely do math. And well, often it's even worse for the boys than it is for the girls. Yes. Because the girls are at least expected often to mm -hmm. have some interaction, some jobs in the outside world. A lot of the boys, all their Religion. goals is to study Talmud all day, Talmud. you know? So the girls often will have a little bit more secular education than the boys. And a lot of these kids, I mean, this is in the United States and they come out of these schools, not even being able to speak English particularly if they're, you know, if they speak Yiddish and Hebrew, barely any English, don't have math skills, and they're not meeting the minimum state requirements. And as these emails show, which again goes back to what we were talking about last time, is this political cudgel, this power that these groups are wielding with exactly like what you're talking about. Their, their perceived religious privilege, and they're going to exercise it by you know, being the puppet master kind of for these different districts. In this case, it's New York and other places. It's, you know, different neighborhoods or different areas. I remember being shocked when I learned that uh, Jewish misogyny ha le leads to promoting education among women. Because usually when it com coming from an Islamic background, Islamic misogyny leads to um, not letting women educate because they're going to get empowered and be able to control stuff, and that's too much autonomy if they're educated. But Jewish misogyny is the opposite. Like, you have to get educated, 
because you have to do the housework and take care of the baby and also work outside and bring money because the men are not going to do either. <laughs> right? The men are just going to stay home and study religion and nothing else. So you have to do both. Um, you have to do. You have to be a slave at home and slave outside. So it's, it was bizarre to me when I learned that, like because I was so used to misogyny in religious community, meaning that women shouldn't get educated. So it was so strange to me that misogyny in the Jewish community was like, no, you get educated because we're not going to do shit. <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I think we all know you were very jealous of Nebrak when you visited Israel. You literally <laughs> said you want your wife to do everything so you can. Speak. No, I was joking. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, that's actually that's like a heaven for me because I want to study religion and do nothing else. Like, wow, this is this is okay. But go on, Rivka, you want to say something? So there's this poster that a lot of these um, communities were putting out that says, "Is Hashem proud of your child's general?" Uh, uh, studies curriculum, secular curriculum, Hashem being God. And it says things like, do they read about dysfunctional families, murder, Greek mythology, the chutzpah, which is the nerve, you know? Um, do they learn about past and present religions? Um, then it says, do they explore other cultures? Are these their themes in their classes, you know, population control, humans as a type of animal, um, change over time instead of evolution. So they're saying, you know, this is this poster saying basically like, look at these terrible things that they're trying to teach you wow. and the chutzpah, the nerve of these people <laughs> to, you know, um, try and teach our kids you know and then it says what are the goals for your daughter's education that's another one you know Susanna wants to say something um so yeah I wanted to give a little bit more information about how this is manifesting in New York specifically so the Department of Education finally released this very damning report last December and nearly four and a half years after the investigation first began which found that only two of the 28 schools investigated provided adequate education to the students. Mm -hmm. um, and the problem is that in such highly insular and controlling communities, this is a form of promoting dependence onto the group. Because if you are not given any form of education outside of Torah, then you don't have the skills that you would need to leave that group should you begin to want something different for yourself. So it's also a means of control. And I wanted to give a shout out. I first learned about this issue from a friend of Armin's, Ari Hershovitz, who was featured in the documentary, um, One of Us, which discusses some of these issues. I encourage everyone to go look it up. And please go check out the organization that Rivka mentioned, YAFED, which stands for Young Advocates for Fair Education. They're doing really important work to fight for these kids. Um, Tens of thousands of kids. Okay, that's great. Um, okay, but here's, here's the interesting thing. It's good that, you know, we... Did we get a lot of comments from people that like, oh, you guys are criticizing Christianity and Islam and Hinduism, but you wouldn't dare talk about Judaism, right? Because you guys are, you know, you would never touch that. And then we, t we crit every time there's a news on Judaism, we criticize it and we attack it. And people are like, oh my God, how guys you dare attack Judaism? You, you anti-Semitic, like, are you really, you think like it's worth your time? Like with given all the shit that Islam does and all the, all these other religion, you, you focus on these, you know, Jewish people who are being attacked by everywhere. How, how dare you? Like, you think this is the world best use of our time? Like, I don't know. There's nothing you can do that people will always think. Yeah. But. Rivka, you want to say something? I just wanted to make a comment about that. So th this organization that was started by Jews who want an education as required by law, there's that's all they're asking for. They want people to 
uphold the law because yeah. they are required by law to educate these people. And the people in these schools are basically telling them that this secular education, non-Judaic education has no relevance. And that's again, that what they're doing is against the law. And these are Jews who are saying we deserve to be given the same education as everyone else. Right, right. And I think that I'm proud of these people for standing up and saying, no, we're not going to take this. Yeah. Stop trying to, you know, make it just about religion. Yep, it's good. All right, let's go to the news. Thank you for joining us. Subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell thingy. If you haven't, I don't know why, What has? what's holding you back? Okay, if you haven't subscribed to our channel, why haven't you subscribed to our channel? Explain that to us, please. Like, bell, <laughs> and also, if, you, if you're not getting notifications and stuff because YouTube is not telling people that we have shows because YouTube is like, oh, this person told us that they want to get your shows, right? They want to get your videos, but nah, you, we think it's no. And oh, look, oh, they also hit the bell button, but nah, you guys are too controversial. We want to show them mainstream stuff. We want to show them CNN or cat videos or whatever. But even there are people are like, no, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, nah, we don't think you want this. They're like, no, please show it to us. We say to you, we want to see Atheist Republic. And YouTube is like, no, we think we know what's better for you than you yourself. So to solve that, link, there's a link in the description, uh, which is to our newsletter. So hopefully some of our, we could email it to you. So hopefully you get some of our content that way. Okay. So yeah, subscribe to our newsletter as well and share, share our videos because you know, we do get demonetized. That's an obvious on every one of our videos. So F that, but we don't care about that anymore, <laughs> but we also get deprioritized and that's even more damaging to us. Deprioritized. What does that mean? That means we're not, we don't show up on the suggested, you know, videos on the right and all that, you know, on the, on people's homepages. And that's how channels grow. Unfortunately we can't grow. So we need you guys to share our videos. So